Hi, I'm Sheldon Hill. I'm with Jorgensen Machine Tools, and I am here to show you the HTC 12 foot by 300 ton press brake that we have. This press brake comes with, you have a 12 foot bed with a 10 foot four way V die, also with 10 foot gooseneck top punch. One of the most unique features on this machine is it is a single cylinder, which means you can put your piece of metal anywhere on the table and you'll still get 300 tons of pressure on it, whether you're on the edge here or on the edge there. Makes for it very handy as you are bending thicker material. Um, now if you come over here and look at this, this is, our, this is for your manual back aid you have back here. This dial here will tell you your resting points so that you can actually have repeatability with this machine. If you look over here, here is our RAM adjustment. This is where you can adjust the open height. Your open height is originally 14 and a half inches. All you have to do is twist here and you can adjust the depth of your RAM or the height of your RAM. Now for more precision, you've got these four adjustments as well to kind of fine tune in your dialing as you're preparing to do your operation. Um, back here is your manual back gauge. As you can see, you have your Z fingers one and two that you can manually adjust yourself here to get the, the proper stop that you need for your precision on your uh, repeatability. Here is your single ram cylinder we have up here on the top. Okay, so on the back edge, you'll notice a good strong feature has that it's mounted on the side frames. What that's gonna do is give you more rigidity with the machine, but also it's gonna give you more open height to use as you're bending. Some, some press brakes will have the mount on the base where your plate can actually run into it and not give you more capabilities, capacities on it. Okay, so your hydraulics are up above here. Uh, great point for those being there is because things happen in a shop, you could drop something on the hydraulics if it's down here or below. Your operator could drop them, drop things on it, cause a lot of damage on it. We know hydraulics uh, do cost some money to replace or fix. Also you have your, uh, we have four different grease banks here. Here's one here, you can see another one here. And your other two, same spots. Gives you a nice easy way to access those to keep your maintenance up on the machine. Another good feature this machine has is it has this pivot point here for your RAM, a RAM pivot. Allows you to just move this red dial and you can actually adjust your RAM to pivot whether you want to go more to Y2 or Y1 if you're wanting to do more of a bend on this end. Uh, another great feature with this machine. Um, very sturdy, very rigid. Going to get you your job done right but also give you repeatability as well of how strong it was made. The HTC 12 by 300 ton comes with standard controls. You have your foot pedestal with the palm controls, also with your e-stop button on it. Your other option is you have the foot switch pedal down here to easily adjust for your RAM to go up and down. To go, you now you have the option you can choose which one you wanna use or both by just this key. You notice foot switch, pedestal, or both. Gives you the three options to do. Also, you have your start button to turn it on. You have your stop button to turn it off. Electrical cabinets here on this side. Okay, this button here, as you'll notice, this black button, what it will do is it'll allow you, when you do your stroke on this machine, you push the foot pedal down. Right now, it's set to automatically come back up. The RAM does. If you turn this switch over, push in the foot pedal to start the stroke, the RAM will stop, when, when you stop, it'll stop and sit in place until you switch it back for it to return back up to home. All right, let's power it on and bend some metal.
little candy cane. So did a little bump bending on it. It's got a nice radius. So depending on the application you're doing. That's actually pretty cool. Bob. That is actually pretty cool. Because <laughs> you almost bent it back to exactly the 180, which is cool. Mm-hmm.